That's it. That's how I do that. Okay, I'm just okay. I'm just going over what we did here. I removed the master cylinder that was here. I pulled that out. All the brake lines that was here that was connected to here. This thing here, which is where the cable goes that side, and the line goes over to the master cylinder. Same one over there, and both tie rod ends. I pulled out both tie rod ends. Okay, and then we cleaned it up, going to paint it. I'm not going to paint the power wall yet, because i got some metal repair down there I had to do down there. But I want to get the rest of this painted. This is uh, part for the shock dampener. I was going to take it off, but I just don't think it's necessary. Take off. I might. I might zip that out of there, maybe. But I'm going to give this a shot of paint, try to see if I can get the look a little better on the inside here before I start putting everything back. Over here is the brake lines. All the brake lines for the whole buggy. Rubber hoses. I got these rubber hoses on here. I already got that one on. Rubber hoses for the back. All the brake lines for the whole kit. The new master cylinder. This is a dual master cylinder. And here's the reservoir for it. I'm gonna, it passes right on here. These things come out and it goes right on. Over here is the uh, tie rods we took off. Look at this tie rod. Somebody welded a bar on it. Well, I thought that they, because it broke, see how it split right here? And I thought they did that to uh, fix it, but I think what they did is they welded that under to strengthen it and make it stronger. But here's the new ones. I'm not welding a bar on there to make it stronger. That's just going to be fine the way it's at. So, that's where we're at right now. There's the can of paint. And I think it's warm enough to start painting. There's the first coat. Just going to let it dry up. It's kind of it was too cold to paint, but it, it worked. I mean, no one's going to really see this because the gas tank sits right here. So, but I want to get, uh, I just want to get some paint on it. I got the rust off and everything. I got, up here I got to do and get the rust off of that yet, but then I got that firewall to do, but I got some repair down there to do, so I'll probably do the firewall later. Okay. I got the new master cylinder on there. Brake lines over that side. I got the hose on. Hose on right here, fast as a caliper. Same for the other side. Hose here. I don't have this clip on because I'm gonna go. I don't have this clip on tight because I'm gonna go get new ones. And if I click it on, they might be real hard to get off. Then I got the hose going to the back. These are the uh, pressure for the brake lights. You got Since it's a dual mass cylinder, you gotta have one on each one just in case one quits, you still got brake lights. There's the front brakes. The line goes through firewall to the back. I'm still working on the back, so that update will come later. Now I give you a runs up about what's happening. I got all the brake lines in back here. That loop, that loop up there that goes over top of the transmission. Then the line comes down to there, across to here. But I gotta get some kind of a bracket to hold this here. The rubber here that goes out of the caliper. But I gotta get some kind of bracket of some type. I think about making one that looks like this bracket. And then fasten it to here like this with the clip to hold it in place. 
think I might do that. I'm not real sure how I want to do that yet. I got I got to come up with a plan on how to do that. I can come off this bolt, have a bracket come up, turn 90 degrees, put the hole in it, slide this through there, and put one of those clips on. Or I just ordered a bunch of those clips, so I don't want to use the old clips. Same thing on this side. The same thing. I could just put a, a you know a tab here, but I don't really care for those kind. I like the mount that looks like this. I'll show you up here better. What does it look like this? Right there, those. That clip's not fastened in because I've replaced them and they are kind of a booger to get out. But anyways, all the brakes are hooked up. I gotta run it, run it. See the line's just kinda, I gotta run it over and I gotta clip it to the wall all the way there. So it's just sitting there like that for right now. But I'll bend it there now until it goes underneath so it's tucked up out of the way. And uh, then now I'm getting ready to, the shocks are in. This shock bucket here was bent. And uh, they must have backed into something one time or another, but the shock wouldn't touch the top. So I heated up with a torch and bit it straight. And uh, of course, I had uh, I had the camera going, but it it did I didn't have it. It didn't record. So it really, uh, uh, yeah, it's just paid. So, anyways, there's that. Those are all in there, tightened down. Really, I could just bleed the brakes now and work, but I'm not ready to bleed them because I might take it apart again if I make that clip for here. So then I just have to bleed them again. So I'm just gonna wait. I thought I'd show you how I do this. This one isn't being made as good as the other one, but because I'm using a scrap steel that already had a hole in it, because I don't have a drill bit big enough for the main hole up here. So I'm making it out of a different piece, and uh, I thought I'd uh, just do a little bit here to show you how I bit this. Want to see something to eat, Sherry? Watch this. Yeah, I've eaten this big old heavy piece of steel up. All nice and hot. That's it. That's how I do that. So here it is. This is what I just made. This, now actually, this didn't come out as good as the other one because I made it out of this metal that already had a hole and it was close to the edge. So I had to uh, do some pin angling, but it might not work because it might be too small up here for the clip, but we'll find out.
far out. Damn power tools. Don't know where to let go. That's it. Then I just gotta get a clip. I ordered some new clips. It goes down in here now. Hold that line on there. And that's it. All done. Here's a another look at it. Uh, of course I gotta paint it. It's just you know I don't have the clips yet. But there's that. And then the one over here. Looks, looks look pretty good. As soon as I get the clips in, and then uh, I'll clip them on. And probably won't be here for a while, but hopefully they get here fairly soon. Well, there is the emergency brake cable. Goes into there. Comes around and fastens on top of that. Those are in. Both sides. You got the new arm on there. That's how the cable's fast on the top gets adjusted down. And then uh, this boot will go on there after I get it cleaned up. Now those heater levers are on each side of the... I'm not going to need those because I'm not running a regular VW heat. I'm going to do something different. But I haven't, I didn't tighten those, these lines down yet. Up from that part back here, because I've got to pull that bracket off I made and uh, paint them. But I'm going to wait till my clips come in so I can make sure the clip's going to work. If they work, then I'll pull them off, give them paint. If not, if they don't work, then I'll have to make new ones. Cause <coughs> this part here on the clip might, or this part here might be too small for the clips, the metal, not enough surface area, I don't know. But I got enough material to make more, no big deal. It didn't take long to make. I just had to drill one hole. I couldn't do the top hole, so I had found metal already had holes in it because I don't have a drill bit that big. I could just go buy one and then make it out of a new piece of flat steel. This here I think is going to be fine. I think there's enough metal. But, uh... So transmission goes in next. I got the I got to finish getting that grommet in there. It's twisted in there. I got to get that straight. But uh, transmission goes in next. So I didn't do much videoing. I kind of cut back on a lot of videoing and working because it takes up so much time trying to do a video and it not work. And, I'm only getting 30 views. Average time is maybe five minutes. So I uh, I just I might do updates like this and then video some things that are uh, like cut like bending that metal around. So I'll be putting a transmission in and then get the axles on. Well. Next video I want to do, I'm definitely going to do, I got to take these CV joints apart. This part here. And uh, getting all the grease out, cleaning them and re-greasing them. Clean them up, paint them, make them look nice and put them in because this is all visible. Out the back because there's a fender that goes here, fiberglass fender. And then a, another little cover that goes across here, down about like this here. And then it comes out a little bit. Uh, but the axles and the springs and the brakes and the engine and all that's visible. It's all seen. Thanks for visiting Hangar 207 in the garage, Baja Edition. 
This was part 10.